I'm uh, Jason Sanfilippo, VP of Sales at Terra Guidance. All right, Reed Goodman. Um, do a little bit of everything at Peak Completions. Brian McDowell, founder and managing partner of Spot Energy Te Consultants, Midland, Texas. John Cassiano, chief geologist manager at Utopia Bridge. I bought a CD today in the parking lot of the Flying J in Midland. The dude's name is Lil Chop. I paid 10 bucks for the CD. I got in my truck and realized I don't have a CD player. So I don't know if he's any good. So I, um, I'm John Cassiano. I'm the general chair of the Geo Golf Convention coming up 2024. And uh, we're here tonight at the STGS uh, Happy Hour. Um, Troy's been great enough to have PBE Podcast set up the, set up everything here for us. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, Troy's been great with a good, you know, we've been, he's been great to the geological community here in San Antonio, and um, he's just been cool just to be involved. And you know, I'm always, we're always looking for people excited about geology and excited to give back to the community and um, get people working together to get projects going together so we can all work towards you know more prosperous better better community and um yeah so that's that um anyway so i've I got brian mcdowell here who's in town he's also he's a sponsor of the happy hour he was also in town to talk about his uh some some of his helium projects with the sites let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> he was in town talking about his uh, helium projects with the sites today at our luncheon and then uh so he's agreed to go ahead and help out and sponsor this event which we had a fantastic turnout i'm not sure the number is a 35 40 people maybe i don't know if some some students some you know, mid-career some yp some retired that are still working and some completely retired people just traveling the world just happen some to be stopping through to and some people trying a lot of people trying poor people and i don't want to work no more a lot of people trying to retire <laughs> <laughs> we had little kids running around we had babies earlier um so it's been fun. And then so we've also got Reed Goodman here, uh, our another uh, second sponsor with Peak Completions. Completions. Thanks. And, uh, and Jason's also here for Terra Guidance. It's been great. Uh, he's been a big supporter of STGS. He's uh, sponsored a few happy hours for us. And he's, yeah, it'd be great to get feedback on what to expect from the, from the conference as a conference goer. And I know, I, know, I know Brian for sure has been involved with these things for a while, at least as an attendee. And what do you think? Me, I mean, I'm just showing up. I'm going to teach a couple short courses, shake some hands, and you know, hopefully find some new data sets. You know, so hopefully someone will compliment me on my mullet. You know, <laughs> yeah. that's really what it's. Yeah, that's so, really yeah. what it's about. You know, <laughs> Brian's leading a short course on his Tipco uh, Spotfire. So yeah, it's it's a really great course. He's been teaching it everywhere, and it's been it's a, a lot. Yeah, yeah I've done it's it three times share, already this year. You got to share how valuable it is to people, like to, for, for their workflow and you know their careers to get involved with stuff like that. Yeah, it's good. Just like I mean, it's just data visualization, right? So as we kind of get into the harder and harder stuff, the uh, I don't know if I should say it out loud, but you know, shale's getting a little mature, and we got to start finding some of the new stuff. You know, kind of drilling it out. We got to go find some new plays, and that means going into the old data sets and trying to find new understanding of this old stuff that's kind of got left behind, frankly, in the last ten or fifteen years. So, you know, go through the visualization and all that stuff. So, kind of go from there. The new, the new old stuff. The new old stuff, yeah. I mean, the whole industry is like re, is re specializing right now. It's kind of wild. Like since COVID, you know, like I don't know, I'm 35, so I spent my last entire career on shales, and now, you know, we started doing this data thing four years ago, and like most of my sales now are going to carbon sequestration and geothermal and helium and Bitcoin and like things you would not <laughs> expect people going to old paper log libraries to look for, right? You don't really think about Bitcoin miners caring about old school paper well logs, right? I, I think that's the cool thing about CCUS stuff is like, it's like what exploration geology used to be because nobody's exploring for it, oil and gas. 100%. So you got to go and tap into other things and look at things that are completely different again. And that's what I enjoy about going to that conference and thinking about it. Like the we, we drilled a well recently and it was like, oh, these are rocks that not a lot of people see and so it takes a, a good well site geologist to go and help that operator out and i i, I love it i agree and I, I honestly think you know love or hate it on the sequestration side but like i honestly like truly i honestly think some of the most technical geology being done in the industry right now is all at ccus because you're going right back to conventional stuff 
people have not really worked conventionals on shore in a lot like this high i would say this high of intensity and i mean before the wolf camp and before the balkan and everything took over right i mean so much money's going towards that and now at least my clients i know everyone's starting to look in these counties that like five years ago or six years ago you know you'd barely even heard of and now it's it's i don't know it's really no, interesting. Yeah. there's a lot of good well, work going on now that's not well, getting as noticed because it's not oil and gas not the primary product well we do you know here at you know we are at apg sectional conference but you know here at stgs south texas geological society we have a lot of geologists that are interested in geothermal they're interested in carbon capture they're interested in hydrogeology critical minerals so i think part of the uh, conference that we put together we kind of wanted to throw cast a wide net try to get all those people something for everybody and i think you know we do have a session of carbon capture we have a session and short course on geothermal and of course you know we have we're, we're gulf coast so we've got you know sessions on a lot of mud rock stuff in eagleford austin chalk um we've also got the um field trips associated with that too to austin and the beg and I so said, we, you know, as a general chair, I really wanted to, you know, try to make sure that there was something for everybody because I really, you know, everybody here in our, in our, on my committee and in our society really want to um, build a community and get, get good networking and get, um, get, get, get good business coming through South Texas and San Antonio, especially, you know, being, being here kind of, you know, we're not in Houston, we're not in Midland, but um, there's a lot of people working and doing good work here in San Antonio. So we kind of wanted to show, show that off a little bit. But um, I guess... I'm going to mention Reed here for a minute. Um, so he's recently kind of new, what would you call it, amateur geologist yeah. pretty much. <laughs> new to the space. <laughs> yeah. Go with that. yeah. I met Reed in Midland, I don't know, a few months ago. And, you know, he's in completions and, you know, he, he's he's an oil field work and worker and he's done a ton of different things. And, you know, he, he mentioned to me he had uh, somebody at his office tell him that, you know, he'd if he's interested in geology, he just needs to start hanging out with a bunch of geologists. And I swear I've seen this guy like every weekend, everywhere I go, or not just where I go, but, uh, you know, at all the conferences. I know he was in Midland. I was, I think I saw him in Houston was it late last year, early this year. I don't even know what day it is, but. I think we can say the same thing for you, John. We yeah, no, no. Well, well, I'm out because I, well, well, I've been out, you know, making sure people know about this conference coming up. So, and then, uh, and I enjoy meeting new people and, and, um, you know, learning new things. And of course, and Reed's got some new projects that he's trying to get me tied into. And, uh, you know, that's, 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 I think that's the whole point of it. You know, we got to build a community and, and eventually, you know, like a lot of these people, you know, here at STGS and, and with AAPG, you know, I consider family. Like I've known, like I've known Brian like almost 15 years now and oh, Troy for really a year or two. Yeah, you're old. Oh, I know. I feel it. Everybody. You're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. You're Reed, the oldest one of the stable. I'll put it I guess, that way. <laughs> and then uh, I was just talking with Reed about uh, Molly Turco and he was talking about, you know, you know, I like, I like the. This whole, you know, the podcasts and LinkedIn and websites and like people in geology being real influencers, and uh, and she came up because Troy's got a bunch of um, her little her little Andy cubes, and uh, so that's why it wasn't random. We we're talking about Molly well, randomly, was, but yeah, but he saying, brought up the, the the Wednesday thing. That yeah, she what's does. that Wednesday? Yeah, and for somebody that's like as green as I am in the geology space, it's like I look forward to what's that Wednesday. I do too, because I you know there's there's. Well, one, like the nomenclature, like I haven't studied it. So like the nomenclature is, is, but then there's also like a technical aspect of like, why is this valuable to me? And, and that's a lot of part of why I'm, I'm excited to go to GeoGolf is, um, is to see what's out there and what kind of value we can create with the things we already have. Right. So wells that we already have, leases we already have, formations we're already in, you know, I want to, I want to understand I understand some of the value of that in oil and gas, like in a dollar amount, like my production. But like, I really want to see where that, you know, where that value is. You know, I've, I'm gonna call you out, Troy. I sent some water samples to Troy to see, like, do I have a bunch of lithium in here? Like, am I a billionaire because all this produced water? <laughs> I'm waiting on those samples to come back. You know, but like, I want to understand the whole market because for so many years we had this market of like, we've got oil, we've got gas. But like it's so expansive in the last 10 to 15 years there's like you say the carbon capture all these other things there's so much more to cover you can go to www.geogolf2024.org to get registered for the conference you can get registered for the short courses and field trips you can do that separately you don't have to register for the conference and the golf tournament also on tuesday 
um, April 9th. So we got a ton of stuff planned. We, you know, we put this together for all of you. I, I, me and my committee, we put this together thinking about you know, what kind of conference would I like to go to. And I think we did a good job. We just need people to go ahead and register, sign up, so we can get all the numbers to all the, everybody involved. And then we can have a great trip. And, and also, too, we're doing an awesome social event on Thursday night at Pinstack, The Rock and Bowl with karaoke. And that's sponsored by Stratigraph. And then we got, um, shoot, what else I got? Anyway, www.geogolf2024, and we have to shut this down short because it's about to rain on <laughs> it us. It is about to John, what song are you singing at, at karaoke? What's your go-to? I don't know. It's going to be a surprise. Oh. Yeah, I, I've, been, I've been thinking about it. I think I'm so, going to have to do it. Our interview oh, we're, 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 giving, we're giving away, a, we're, giving a, we're giving a Lego guitar for first place. So so our we have an interview question at Terra Guidance. Go ahead. And... It is basically what is your karaoke song that you're going to sing to the organization <laughs> on video if you I, want this job. That you you asked that of your interviewees? Absolutely. 100% of them. Do you have those videos? No, so we never actually done it. We just <laughs> asked the question. You just want to know what the song is. It's just to break up the tension. Yeah, break up yeah, the yeah, tension yeah, yeah. in so the interview. So right now, okay, I'm leaning either towards a, a, a Bad to the Bone, George Thurgood, or oh, okay. Steve Miller, Joker. Nobody steal that shit because I've been working on those. Oh, well, so I'm going, if somebody else sings those, then I'm done. I'm going party or maybe in the USA. Maybe old George Strait or yeah, some. Or, <laughs> there's, not, a, Miley there's, not Miley yeah, yeah, yeah. there's not enough booze in San Antonio to get me to sing karaoke. There's a lot of booze in and, San Antonio. Uh, Geo Golf, so. <laughs>